Welcome to Sam's Film Review! Today I'm going to be reviewing 1031 Part 2, which is a horror anthology film released by Scream Team Releasing. This is the limited edition slipcover edition which was also signed, and I th I'm pretty sure that the slipcover was only limited to 500 copies. Creatures from the Night awaken for this year's Halloween Monster Marathon, hosted by Malovia, Queen of the Screams. Strap in for more freaky flicks with a new batch of indie directors. Spooky tales such as Halloween Celebration turn deadly in a Senhain liturgy, and something unholy in the basement desires a nun in Sister Mary. Otherworldly strangers need fresh meat in deadlift. Explore the difference between hatchets and tomahawks at the best Halloween party ever in Apache Hatchet ma Massacre 2. And a serial killer has a big problem in Overkill, including foul trailers from other indie filmmakers, Treaters, Truck Squatch, The Candy Taker and The October Kids. I absolutely loved 1031 Part 2. And I do think it is actually slightly better than 1031, and that is due to the, um, the fake trailers at the beginning. I absolutely love the trailers, especially the October Kids. They are quite long, they're like mini shorts themselves, and it's not just like a 30 second trailer. I think they're going for like 3-4 minutes each. The, Oct the October Kids was absolutely amazing. Um, I did enjoy Treaters, and I, all the trailers were absolutely great. But I think the October Kids is probably the favourite one for me. And I would like to see them turned into like a feature length or an actual short themselves. Down to the actual um, shorts themselves from 1031 Part 2. I really did enjoy Apache, Apache Hatchet Massacre 2. That was actually um, really reminiscent of like um, Freddy the 13th series. I absolutely love that, um, and even a bit of a hatchet film in there. Um, it was really cheesy, the acting was way over the top, and I absolutely loved it. Overkill was also one of the favourite horror shorts. I think Overkill was one of the, probably maybe the favourite one here, and it follows like um, a Jason Voorhees type killer um, stalking um, his victims, but then he gets to um, one woman. Um, who's a babysitter, and they are three or four killers, well, competing, or I wouldn't say competing, but stalking the same victim, and they're just arguing outside like the conservatory window um, of who gets to kill the victim, and I thought it was absolutely hilarious. Um, one of the characters I would have liked to see more of was actually this character right here, who looks absolutely hilarious, and he is on the back of the slipcover, and the front of the slipcover here. But he's literally only in the film for about 30 seconds, and I would have liked to see a lot more, because he was quite hilarious. Down to the package itself from Scream Team releasing, I absolutely love their Blu-ray releases, and I do recommend picking up 1031 Part 2 from Scream Team releasing. And anything from them, all their Blu-rays are really high quality, um, and the, the slip covers and the artwork looks amazing. Sadly, there were no special features on this Blu-ray, um, they may be waiting to release a limited edition with special features sometime in the future, but I do think that the like parody trailers at the beginning, there's about 15-20 minutes of those that's tacked onto the beginning of the film, and that does kind of act as like a trailer, um, as, as some special features. It's not actually down on the cover, but I did really enjoy them. It was, um, and it's kind of a bit of a bonus for you there. Take off the slip cover. There's actually two of those artwork, there's three artwork in total. There's the limited edition slipcover. This is actually the reverse artwork, signed by Malovia Screen of the Queen. Malovia Queen of the Screams. And on the front, is um, this should be the reverse artwork, but mine came on this artwork since she's on the front. A one disc Blu ray. And then this is the original artwork. I really do love this original artwork too. Just some screen captures from the film. 
as you can see here the makeup in this film is absolutely amazing um, you're not watching it thinking it's a low budget film it looks incredible and I do I do think that these low budget films that Scream Team releasing are putting out absolutely look amazing and um, you wouldn't know you're watching a low budget film also in this package of 1031 part 2 with the reversible artwork and the slip cover I did get a poster this poster came with the slip cover edition at no extra cost and I will be putting this up somewhere in the future I absolutely this is the original artwork for the film and I think it looks great it's a really high quality poster with some great artwork on the front overall I'm going to give 1031 part 2 a 5 out of 5 it's an, it's an absolutely amazing horror anthology and I recommend it to watch any time of the year especially Halloween as always thanks for watching if you have any recommendations of any horror films or films in general that you want me to review please put them down in the comment section below please like and subscribe